Hello, band families, and welcome to THS Open House. We're so glad to see all of you tonight, and I just want to tell you what a privilege it is for me to get to work with your students every day, whether that be virtually or in person, and for us to get to work on making music together. I don't take that lightly at all, and I just want to say a huge thank you for allowing and sharing your incredibly wonderful students with us every day. Now, for the students that come to school every day, I do want to tell you about some of the safety measures that we're taking to make sure that your students stay as, safety as, as safe as possible. Uh, Ms. Perry Horner has made bell covers for all of the instruments, including the huge bell covers for the sousaphones to minimize aerosol disbursement. Uh, Ms. Misty Davis has made special face masks, and she's almost gotten them done for the entire band that have a little Velcro flap that open and close. We started with the medical masks and we make a slit in that mask to allow the mouthpiece to pass through, but now we actually have cloth masks to help keep those students safe. We are using the, are using the puppy pee pads for any instrument that uses a water key. They can empty that water key right onto the puppy pee pad. And at the end of the class, the student can throw that away so that it's completely gone by the time the next group of students come through. We do put six foot feet between all of our wind players in the band room and we also window them out so that they're not sit there at least 12 feet between them and the next person in front of them. We do put hand sanitizer everywhere and we use a spray sanitizing on the stands and the chairs twice a day. Now for e-learners, of course, your challenge is to have all the materials that you've made and I am getting better at it. Uh, but my goal is to have everything up on Google Classroom ahead of time so that all e-learners can look at Google Classroom and see what it is that they need to have for the class on that day if there's anything different than what they've had in the past. We do ask that all students go up there and there's a button they can push that causes them to get alerts on their phones anytime anything is posted in the Google Classroom. So please encourage your students to take advantage of that so then they're aware and they don't have to go through and check all the time to see what's coming up. They just get a nice little bing in the top of their phones if they install Google Classroom on their phone or they can also sign up for alerts through their web browser. And we are using Google Classroom for everyone. So hopefully at this point, everyone has joined the Google Classroom for their uh, specific band class. And that will keep them up to date with assignments and other uh, things that are going on. We have put together the Google Classroom with Focus. So Focus and Google Classroom are linked so that all those assignments will automatically work and go right into Focus. Or if the student wants to go through Focus, it will lead them back to the Google Classroom so they can see what they need to do. Now we also put out a band weekly email and text. If you're not getting those, you're gonna have a chance to sign up for them with one of the assignments from this week. But we do put that out. We try to put it out every Sunday, a three day weekend. This week we put it out on Monday, but the day before the students come back to school, we try to put it out. And what that does is give you any special information that you need to know for that week and list day by day if there's anything special that happens on those particular days. If your student is a doubler, they do band and chorus or band and orchestra or whatever it may be, it will also list which subject they're in for that particular day. Now we do have three assignments due this coming Friday. The first is the parent info and volunteer. This is an easy uh, form to fill out. And that's where you can sign up to let us know, oh, I'm not getting the weekly email, would you please add my email? Or I'm not getting the text message, would you please add my text number to get the text message? All of that can be done through that form on your child's Google Classroom. Now, if your child's in multiple band classes, they only need to fill it out once and we'll apply it to every class that they have. Parents, you don't have to volunteer here. We do want to use as many volunteers as we can, and we're not even exactly sure what that's gonna look like yet. But we want to get volunteers as much as we can. But even if you can't volunteer this year, please fill that form out so your child gets the 100 points for that assignment. Uh, but we do definitely need volunteers to help us with chaperoning for the football games this year. And we definitely need help with people to run the concession stands for uh, varsity games and one JV game that we're going to be playing this year. So we will need volunteers. So if you are able, please sign up and volunteer for those things. The second one is the band fee form. Now, notice that the 100 points is for filling out the form, not for paying the fees. In fact, we're not even ready to take fees yet. All we do is fill out the fee form, and then we send you an invoice. Now, no student is ever turned away because a family can't afford band. We do have scholarshiping available. 
but that will give you an idea of what it is. And we keep our band fees ridiculously low. Many schools across our, our state will charge in the hundreds of dollars every semester and some even over $1,000 a semester. We keep ours extremely low, and particularly this year, it is almost nothing. It's, well, and I shouldn't say nothing. For some families, uh, $50 is a lot, and I get that. But we try to keep it as low as we possibly can. You can see the itemized items for what those are. Now, having said that, some families are able to help out more. At the bottom of that is a scholarship fund. If you would like to donate extra money to pay for some of the other families that may not be able to afford it this time, that's where you'd have a chance to do that. You can say, I'll sponsor another student in, in this amount, or whatever it is, you can feel free to do that. Um, now, as I just talked about, these are point assignments, and that's what this class is based on, is uh, attendance and performances, where the students achieve a certain level and are perform at a concert, as well as the daily assignments. Now, we don't necessarily know what the concerts are gonna look like yet, but we do have the daily assignments that students will be playing and uploading, or they may have some written things that they fill out and, and upload, much like what we're talking about with the um, volunteer form and the band fee form. Now, the final and third assignment is the handbook sign-off form. And our handbook is located on the resources webpage of Focus, and it's on the band website. You can get to the band website from any weekly email. And on that band website, you can go to the handbook and it describes everything about our program. Now, right towards the front of that book is the COVID addendum and talking about the things that we're doing this year because of COVID. But we left most everything else in the handbook because we want everyone to see what a normal year is like. And many of the things are not affected by COVID. One well, of the biggest changes is that marching band is not required this year. Marching band is optional for all students, so that is not a graded event. But you can look through that handbook. You can see everything about awards that the students can earn. You can see the officer positions. You can see how we operate in the band room. You can see the code of conduct. All of those things in the handbook really encourage you to take a chance, take a moment to look through there when you get a chance so that you can see everything that's in there and what's going on in our program. Once you've had a chance to do that, you go to the band handbook and syllabus sign-off form, download that syllabus and handbook, sign it, it's one of those PDF type and print, and there's two places to sign it, and there are directions in Google Classroom on how to do that if you're not sure how it works. But all those um, directions are right there for you to be able to see that. Now, uh, part of some of the students class the second block is the hope class the students can take to earn their hope credit we'll do that uh, the last 30 minutes of class and they'll have some written assignments as well not many we try to get everything done in class but there may be some things same thing for the fourth block with the class called career research we'll work on that for the end portion of class several times a week and again students in both those classes just really the biggest part is keeping a journal and notebook and then the few written assignments that we have, but the most important thing is that they keep all of their notes because we do have quizzes from time to time and all of those are open note. If they have their notes, they're going to ace it. However, if they don't have their notes, it's not even, you, it's really difficult to pass it. So all they need to do is keep their notebook of notes, write down everything that goes on the screen and stay up with it. And if they miss a day, all they have to do is make up those notes. They can email me or ask a friend. Frank can take a picture of those notes and they'll go right in there and they can make it up that way. I did mention a moment ago that marching band is not required this year, but we are having marching band. Marching band is a volunteer uh, endeavor this year and any student that is signed up on the marching band form is automatically a member. Uh, if you've not had a chance or your student hasn't had a chance yet to sign up, please let me know and we'll get them signed up as quickly as possible. Finally, concerts. How do we do concerts this year? And the answer is, I don't know. Uh, we're getting some ideas, but until we get official approval, we won't really know exactly what they'd be. We've thought about going on the football field and parents could sit in the stands. We'll just play a concert right there on the football field or on the track. Uh, there's the possibility the district is looking at having concerts on the stage where we can keep the students six feet apart and then allowing every student to bring in two parents so that they would be able to, or two, two family members, whatever they want to do, those two people can sit together. And if we do that, we'd be able to socially distance ourselves throughout the theater and keep everyone safe in, the, in that situation. So those are just some ideas that are rattling around. 
not necessarily um, going to happen that way, but those are possibilities that we're looking at. Finally, please feel free. I think I said finally twice, but this one I actually mean, this time I actually mean it. Finally, anytime you need to get a hold of me, please email me and never feel bad about emailing me again. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I do get a lot of emails. I have a lot of students, and then there's some other things that, that I'm involved with throughout the state as well, and I, and I do have a tendency to get email, lots of emails every day, just like all of you. And I'll be honest, sometimes I'll teach throughout the day, and I'll come in, and there will be 100 emails, um, and I'll start working my way from the top, and something comes up, and I get distracted, and I don't get to the emails that got pushed way down. Email me again. I will never be upset with you. I'll never feel like you're pestering me. I just ask that you be patient with me. And if you are finding yourself having to email me more than once, please understand that I will get to you as soon as I can and uh, try to get you that information or answer your question in whatever way that I can. But the best place to email me is terriersound at gmail.com. That's all one word, terriersound at gmail.com, or just hit the reply to any weekly email, and it'll go right to me. All right, y'all, we're looking forward to an absolutely wonderful year. And again, like I said in the beginning, we're so excited to have your students with us we're excited that the e-learning thing is working and we can interact with your students every day. We're excited for the students that are in front of us every day. We want to wish you all the best and healthy year possible. And uh, we hope to see you guys at our first performance.